What's up, internet? It's Corey here. AKA Mr. I Slept Through Two Alarms. AKA. Oh. So. Oh, man. We're heading to the flea market. It's Friday. I now have something in my eye. Things aren't going well for you, boy. Can I get this thing out of my eye? It's gonna drive like a cyclops, I guess. Jesus. Looks to be a good day. I don't think I saw any rain in the forecast, so we're gonna be hitting the flea market. Going to hit some garage sales. The sale that starts around 10 o'clock. Unfortunately, in a town that now has zero thrift stores, used to have two thrift stores, now it's down to zero. Um, that mainly advertises games. I mean, it sounds semi-familiar, but not enough to like raise any, you know, alarms as far as like don't go there. It's a waste of your time. So we're gonna head over there by around 10 o'clock. Not sure if my wife's coming with me at all. She has today off. So, I'll hit some thrift stores. But most importantly, we'll stop rambling in this clip. Let's get to the flea market. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay. All right, you're probably wondering what happened at the flea market. Oh, I'm gonna have to go check my Vols channel for that because I didn't find anything. Um, <laughs> We were there too late. We did one walk around as a zombie and then we went to go get coffee. And now we're back here working on our shipments. We have eight sales on eBay uh, for $171. So let's take a look what we sold. A PlayStation uh, AV cord sold for $9.37. Sold. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for $12.18 shipped. This was probably the best sale of the day. Uh, and I actually listed these up yesterday because I was finally organizing my PlayStation 1 games and I realized, wait a minute, don't I have all these on the Switch? So we sold Mega Man X4, X5, and X6, which I had on the PS1 as a bundle, uh, for $55 shipped. Sold another PS2 memory card, $8.69. Sold True Crime, again. Uh, these sell like the same day I list them up. I don't know if I'm listing up too cheap, maybe. Maybe I need to be listing up higher. Sold for $14 shipped. And then we had a N64 lot that we had finally tested out a couple days ago. Um, all sports games sold for $25 shipped. Lamborghini, automobile, in the zone, Fox Sports College Hoops, NASCAR 99, in the zone, uh, NBA courtside, and All-Star Baseball 2000. So the shipping is probably going to kill that one a little bit because it's definitely over a pound. But uh, glad to get those out of the way. They've literally just been sitting here waiting for me to test them. Uh, we sold Disney Magic Meteos. Some puzzle game. This sold for $8 shipped. That's complete. And the last sale is kind of a stinker, just because this was something I picked up for Amazon that unfortunately um, Amazon could never quite get their shit together and let me ship it in a package that made sense. Uh, if you don't know, when you ship to Amazon, they'll, you'll like, say you send them, you want to send them like 40 items, they might have. 38 of those items go to one warehouse, you can ship it in one box, and then the other two items they'll want to go in a separate box to a different place. 
Um, the way it always worked out when I was trying to ship these is they always wanted to ship these individually. I don't understand why. Individually, separately to different warehouses. Uh, uh, separate from the rest of my order, which adds basically at least like $6 and $6, if not more, and basically cuts down on the profit that I would have had because I was probably going to make like $15 each on these clear if I was able to just ship them in a regular package to Amazon. Um, but now I'm selling them both <laughs> with free shipping for $28 on eBay, and thus I'm probably just getting back what I invested after it's all said and done. So not the greatest eBay day. Uh, one thing, if you guys want me to go over some of my Amazon sales, I'm pretty sure I can do that because they're finally picking up. And rather than just like see like, hey, you picked up this book that he says is going to sell for like $100, you could actually see that because, well, I can tell you about it because I did have a Amazon book sale that went for $202 the other day which made up a pretty big portion of my day on that day. So it was pretty cool. Um, we're going to get these shipped and we're going to head to the thrift store with my wife. You know, you know that the uh, garage sale's popping when you see the traffic from all the people parked on your uh, GPS. All right, so we dropped the wife off back at home, left that garage sale empty handed. I don't even think I filmed there. In fact, I know I didn't. Um, wasn't much to see. There's a bunch of Amiibos, some Xbox 360 games left, some reproduction shells for Super Nintendo games, which I think is a little shady, to be honest. Because I think that's like... No, I feel like everybody that sells on eBay that way, like where they just put like the reproduction Super Nintendo games, N64 games up as like the US version, as they say. Um, that's really kind of shady and just like takes advantage of anybody that is looking to play the game but doesn't realize that they're getting duped. Um... Yeah, so I was happy not to purchase anything there. Uh, not that there was anything for me to purchase by the time I got there. At the very least, I missed out on a Sega Genesis system with a power base converter. Which, once again, like, not a big loss in my opinion. It's just something I would end up reselling. Uh, and at the prices he was giving people, I don't even know if there would have been any meat on the bone, to be honest. So we're heading right now to a couple thrift stores. It's a little late, so we're not hitting anything in stride. It's 11-12. Let's see what we can find. Hey guys, it's pretty late. Just finished up my second Amazon package for the night. Um, actually, I got some stuff to show you. So let's set up this tripod real quick. The terrible lighting we have right here now. Alright, we picked up at the Red, White, and Blue today. They had some video games. Wow, this lighting is actually worse than I thought it was. A little bit better it is also late so we have no natural light whatsoever um, 
adjust myself. Mm. We'll see. So, we picked up some games, the red, white, and blue. Uh, not very often they have cartridge games, let alone games at all nowadays. One of my major complaints is that they have no games out on their shelves, and they have their, um, their disc holder thing full of games, but... None of them are really for sale, I guess, because they don't have anything out on the shelf, so. Where's the where's the disconnect here, you know? Why have these games behind the counter if you're not trying to sell them? Whatever. So, I probably overpaid for some, if not all, of these that I got here. Because you never see them. Um, first up, we got... Terminator 2. This was $3.99. Uh, might be a label upgrade. It's not the best label, but might be better than mine. I think I remember mine being pretty bad. We got Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo for $4.99. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for $3.99. And this one's a definite overpay, but it's Super Mario World for ten dollars. It's disgusting paying that. But. And then we have Mario Golf for ten dollars. Um, to be honest, I might end up keeping this if I can find a box for it. I don't really collect N sixty four very often. But this is like a ridiculous, aside from like the writing they have on the back of it, it's a ridiculously clean copy of Mario Golf. And of all the Mario sports games, it's like the one I like. Maybe I'm getting old or something. Um, we have more games somewhere. Um, so. I think I just heard fireworks. It is the 3rd of July, I guess, so it's not unrealistic. Let's see what we got at our savers when we showed up there pretty late on a Saturday, or on a Friday, actually. All right, let's take a look at what we got at our savers on a Friday almost afternoon. More cartridges. More cartridges today. I can't believe it. I also picked up some toys. Um, the only relevant one being this six-inch Ganondorf figure from uh, Wind Waker. And it ain't worth shit. <laughs> so it was kind of a waste. Picked that bag up for $5. I think I showed it in the video. If not, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um... This was really kind of a scorched earth kind of find here. Only one of the games that I got at the Savers was worth getting, or at least ridiculously worth getting. Everything else was a sports title. Uh, so we got for three nine or for two ninety nine, Bulls versus Blazers. Probably goes for three dollars if I'm lucky. Uh, for three dollars, we have a NBA Jam Tournament Edition with a GameStop sticker on the label the best video game ever made NHL 94 on the Super Nintendo for $2.99 that's a steal I'd pay that every day of the fucking week uh, very poor uh, follow up given it was three years later NHL 97 I've actually played this one not a big fan if I remember correctly on that one, you could literally just skate forward from the from the um from pretty much wherever you are on the ice and just shoot the puck and you score a goal. If I'm remembering correctly. I think that's what I remember doing on that game. And well we'll save this one for last just because it's actually a it's a twenty dollar title. Uh we also picked up one two dual shock controllers for two dollars and 99 cents each and an original ps1 dual shock for 2.99 i 
Um, one thing to be on the lookout for is the analog controller. Uh, it have slightly different thumbsticks, longer um, handles, worth a lot more. So be on the lookout for that one. I've had it once in the past. And the last game I have to show you, Jim Lee's Wildcats with bad lighting. Let's rip this open. So this was the only non-sports title they had hanging there. And it happens to be a 20-something dollar game. I don't think it's particularly good. Uh, I will likely try it out. See if I like it. If I like it, I'll keep it. If not, sell it. Because I'd rather have $20 than a shitty game. That is going to do it for today's day-to-day -to -day video. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys. Really, really bad label. Wow. Not an ounce of glue on that one whatsoever. Hopefully, well, I mean, it's probably still on NBA Jam. Everything points to NBA Jam. But theoretically, this could be anything. <laughs> it's NBA Jam.